Hi, it's Les from the Keto Diet from Fat to Slim. And today's video is a little bit of a catch up from weeks 13, 14 and 15. You may have noticed if you've been following my Keto Diet that I haven't made any videos from week 13, 14 and 15. And that's because I've been on a little bit of a holiday. We had some friends come over and we decided to go to a tropical island near where we live. So we spent almost a week there then we come home, then we had some other friends come from up north, came down and we spent nearly two weeks with them also and we went back to course and met our little tropical island paradise. Now trying to stick to the keto diet whilst on holiday on a, an island, it was very, very difficult. I tried very hard but the food that they cook here in Thailand, they've got sugar in absolutely everything and because I didn't take sugar in any of my meals that I prepared, you can taste the sugar content in the meals that they're provided. And I had the green curry, the red curry, and the Massaman curry. Um, yeah, as I say, it's just loaded with sugars and their cooking oil. So as far as having control over the keto diet whilst on holiday, it's very, very difficult to do. Now I started off with good intentions. I started off very good, I didn't have any rice. So to keep the carbs down, I just had the green curry and the red curries and, and the salads and stuff like that. But as the two weeks went on, we were going out twice a day. So my normal routine was eating once a day. And obviously because now I'm eating twice a day because we're going out with friends for lunchtime and evening meal, it's very, very difficult just to sit and have one meal a day, especially when you can't cook it yourself. And um, the fat content is... is it's difficult to stay on when you're on holiday. So have I put weight on? Yes, I did. I did put weight on over the three week period because at the, towards the end of the three weeks, it was proven very difficult and I knew I'd put a little bit of weight on. So I was determined once I'd finished the holiday, go back and take keto and that's what I'm gonna do, go back onto the keto diet again. So, so did I put on weight? Yes, I did. I put on four kilos. I was 95 kilos at the end of week 12, and I went up to 99 kilos. Um, but a lot of that was to do with water weight. And once I come back from our holidays, and I settled down, and I wasn't eating rice, and I was back to eating one meal a day, within two or three days, that weight came back down to 98. So I put three kilos on in reality in three weeks. But a lot of that is water weight because as you start eating carbs again, your body takes on more water. So so my plan to go down to 90 kilos, well actually I'll be going down to maybe 88 or 87 kilos to allow that three kilos going back on for water weight to, to get your body back to normality. It's gonna put water weight on, so I expect that. And that's what happened when I came off the keto diet. Three or four kilograms and it sorted itself out. So I'm roughly four kilos over what I was at week 12. So now we're approaching week 16 and I thought I'd do this video to keep everybody that's following my diet success along to show that yes, if you fall off the wagon, you can get back on it again, no problem. Yeah, so I've started the keto diet again. So now we're gonna start again from here at 98 kilos and then I'll carry on doing videos until I reach my target weight of 90 kilos, which in reality, it'll be 87 to 88 kilos to allow some water going back onto my body weight when I'm finished the keto, and then I'll come off the keto gradually. But like I did from eating one meal a day, going up to two meals a day, um, you're bound to put weight on because your body's used to eating about a thousand calories a day, maybe a little bit more and then going on to maybe two, two and a half thousand calories a day by the, the food that you eat while you're on holiday. I was good, I didn't have any alcohol, so that reduced some of the carbs, so I was just still drinking Diet Coke and Diet Fanta and Diet Lemonade. I don't count this as a failure, like I put in my thumbnail. I count it that I fell off the wagon a little bit whilst going on holiday, and now I'm back in control of my diet because we've got no really future plans of going on holiday for uh, quite a few weeks now so I can get back onto the diet and get back onto my regimented way I live and with regard to being positive on the keto diet because I know it works. I've gone from uh, 118 kilos at this picture here down to as it is now 98 but I went down to 95 
and when I started my videos I was 106 and now I'm 98 so that's still a big weight loss and you feel the difference not carrying that extra weight around all the time. So from Les, from fat to slim, the keto diet, it's still going strong. I'll see you next week when I do another video.